Hello, welcome to the next edition of Monday Special. This slot is mainly for decks that either I got five O's and I want to try them out through a league or, you know, there's matches to see how the deck plays out. If it's questionable, I probably won't run through a league. If it is, you know, something I get, I feel confident in, then I will run it through a league or I get paid to run it through a league. Today, we got a deck that um, was paid for by Richie Dubs. Uh, he wanted to donate to the channel. So my requirements are for this is $20 gets your deck played through a league. So if you have any interest in that at all, there's a link down in the description to my Discord channel. There is a channel that tells you how to pay on my PayPal and all that stuff. There's also, I think the PayPal link is in the description. So you just do that, drop your deck list, and then I will play it through a league. Dubs paid for PNLR, the actual competitive version. Last week, we played a non, uh, you know, test type deck that I wanted to see. Um, cards that aren't really actively seen playing in the probably optimized list. But today, we're going to try out the optimized list. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you can be alerted for future videos. And let's get into the deck list. So, our deck. We have... Uh, Destroy Evil, In the Festivities, some Volleys, Alpine Moons, Strike, Showdown, Extra Showdown for like mid-range, Invasion for mid-range and Control. We have Rest in Peace for our Graveyard Hate, Redain to push off Rafts, stuff like that. Lotus, good against Lotus Field. And we have a Jengatha as a companion. Main board, we have our four PNLRs, our eight Prowess one-drops. We have a single lightning strike, three bone crushers. Bone crusher does quite does quite well with PNLR because the when it's on an adventure, you cast it from exile, it gives you a token. We have three showdowns main. Then we have uh, Faithful Absence, Chain to the Rocks is our removal suite. We have impulses and resolves for card draw. Um, play with fire and Kamuno. Now the only thing I'm really actively concerned about, we'll, we'll probably get into the wrap up. But is we have 20 lands, which on paper should look good. But there is plenty of games where I'm assuming this is going to be an issue. Uh, where we just get stuck on two lands or something like that. So if, like I said, let's get into the gameplay and then get into the wrap up. Hive takes the Swifty Kimono Go Swamp. This mono black takes the impulse. Play the mountain. Pay PNLR. Fatal push. Sure. So this is mono black mid-range. Puts a arena. Flip. Soul Scar Mage. Waste not. Forge. Put Jeff in hand. Smack. Thought seizes me. Takes the absence. Okay. Mountain. So he does not have the mana to turn on Hive. So I think I smack you. Adds mana to his mana pool. All right. Did not like that one. So we have destroy evil for the waste knot. Invasion might be fine. Showdown might be fine. Since we're going more mid range. Maybe down the lightning strike. A play with fire. Maybe one more play with fire. And a Ren's resolve. No. Let's take a bone crusher. I don't like that. Vantage. Kimono. Go. Swifty. Smack you. All right. Shores my board. Flip that. I think I have play Invasion. So I think it's correct to take the Liliana. Hit the Invasion. Thoughtseize. Aha! You see the same card. With different names. Oh, come on. You draw another Thoughtseize? You gotta, and then you have your Fatal Push. Alright. Put Jeff in hand. Fatal Push or Shieldred. Liliana. Okay. Hits me for four. Should turn on the Mutable. Hit me for six. We are... Basically in every game, but every match, but okay, that ain't gonna do crap. I think I bring in Justice Strike over a play with fire, run it like that. Mountain, Soul Scar Mage, go. Mountain, Thoughtseize, sure. Take Rin, Forge, or Foundry tapped. Hitcha. And Castle Lock Lane, Underdog. Kimuno. Play the Kimuno. Chain to the Rocks. Forge. Smack you for three. Castle Lock Lane. Figured Liliana was coming. Down tick. We untap. Pass. Waste not. Tap Tive. Passes. Whip. Impulse. Mountain. 
Bone Crusher. Smack you. Okay, got one match. One and one. Soul Scar Mage, go. See, okay, this must be Spirits. I think I'm going to go for the aggressive line. Passes. Impulse. Grow the team. Uh, I think I'm just going to pass. I mean, I'm going to attack. Second main. Do Swift Spear. So, ideally, we find another land. Then I can Swift Spear, Strike, plus Play of a Fire. And that's a lot of damage. Island. Alright, so plays a Verdict, uh, Phantom, and a Wanderer. Hits me for four. Take it. Hit you. Blocks. He does block. Let's hit face. Ottawara. Another Lord. Alright, hits me with a smaller threat. Pandalore. Block. Block. I think I shoot face. Rattle chains. So we lose him and we take take him to two. Another Lord. They're all flyers. Okay, so we definitely want these. Is just not good. So I guess that 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 is so that's how I should play it. Alright, passenger. All right, so that means Sailor's coming in. Impulse. And Nalar. You got a counter? No. Resolve. Smack you. No wedding announcement. Swings. Make a dork. While you're tapped out, play Showdown. Shove, shove. Okay, trades. Chomps. Use my P and Nalar. Soul Scar Mage. Put a counter on a Thopter. Put a counter here. I could Impulse. Put a counter here. Smack you. Chomps. Down to four. Coast scoops it up. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I'm definitely gonna mount it this turn. I think I just make a move now. Oh, or maybe I just volley now. So I think I swift spear, forge, volley, smack, coast, blip, swift spear. I mean, soul scar mage. That's fine. Pass the turn. Portable hole. Eat the big swifty. Play impulse. Counter spell. Pass the turn. Pathway on blue. Catilda. Passes. Resolve. Shoot there. Smack you. A land. He shocks himself. Catilda. Number two. Supreme Phantom. Kamuna. I think I have no risk. Because he blocks here. Here? I think I sh hit there. Okay. Pass the turn. Pianalar. Pianalar. Snare. Pass the turn. Okay, so he finally top decks another threat. Passes? Hits me with wonder. Okay. Nine. Chain to the rocks. Get anything for chain to the rocks? Take the queller. Okay. Phases them out. Smack. Impulse. Do you have a counter? Pianalar. Kamuna. Got it. Sacred Foundry. Untapped. Swifty. Smack you. Planes. So I go to combat. Smack your face. Okay. So we play Pianalar. Kill the Vanguard and hit you. Obfuscation. Eats my Pianalar. Sure. Bone Crusher. Tap Foundry. And set up for next turn. Where I showdown, got game one. So now we get volleys. Justice Strike should get most of his threats. Alpine Moon doesn't matter. In the festivities could be decent. Faithful Absence. Maybe I just go down all of the play with fires. I don't like that. Planes. So in Hopeful Initiate, go ahead and drop down Soul Scarf Mage. Pass the turn. Mutavolt. Thalia. No attacks, I assume. Yep. Whiff Spear. Foundry tapped. Go. Adeline. Goes to combat. Swings out. We block there. Vantage. Dump Thalia. Portable hole. Eats Soul Scar Mage. Sure. Gets frisky. Pumps this to a 4-4. Four, four. We take our beats. We're at 5. Yeah, I just don't see it. Too many lands. Run back. Forge. Swift Spear. Smack. Planes. Officer. Alright. Smack. Swift Spear. Impulse. Hit ya. Ugh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Offer a trade. Okay. Tend to kill that. Thank you. Thalia hits me for two. Down to eight. Swift Spear. Swift Spear. Pass the turn. I'm going to attempt to double block. That hurts. I'm at five. Tend to run it back, I guess. Pass the turn. Goes to combat. Swings out. Attempt to block again. No Ganju. Okay. I'm at one. Another Thalia. Of course you, you make me find it when I'm dead. So we take three and die. Haha, uh -huh. take this out. All right, we end up with a 2-3. I think that matchup would have been decent, though. Let's get into the wrap-up. So what did okay. we learn this week about this deck? We went 2-3 and three with the deck. Uh, most of our losses um, came in Game 3. We always push it to Game 3, so it was either a 2-1 record or a 2-1 match or a 1-2 match. 
and it came down to two of the matches we just got stuck on two lands like too long and we were not able to answer the thalia which absolutely wrecked our game plan if we would have been able to have an answer for it sooner by hitting our land drops we would be able to probably win that match there was also another match uh that also i think if we would have had the lands um we probably also would have won that match too might have been spirits i gotta remember but uh yeah those weren't shown i mean the the two matches weren't shown that we lost getting stuck on lands was the biggest issue that i felt with the deck um the explosiveness maybe there's something could be done here i do actually wonder if a jeskai list couldn't be worth some effort uh, balmore with, with the thopper token seems pretty pushed but at the same time you reduce your amount of mountains which makes chain of the rocks one of the best removal spells in pioneer uh if you avoid that out that doesn't seem very good so yeah so if there's any suggestions that all you guys would have considered for this pnlr list i did take it from a 5-0 so and there's a lot of people that had a, a very similar list this was done by 20k blue so so that's my goal um for the series like i said it's to take existing 5-0 lists that i find that are interesting run them through a league um, the five color mid range deck to feature next week probably won't be ran through a league. It looks very interesting on paper, so I want to try it out. And uh, if it works quite well, I might run it through a league. Um, just want to get some practice with it, see how it actually performs. But if you have any other deck list that you thought would be sweet in the five O's, let me know because I'm more than willing to look into it and maybe try it out for a Monday special. And until next time, hopefully, you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.